software. First, you'll need to pull up Internet Explorer Firefox and go to J and M PCExpert.com and you can click on software, click on resources, and then software. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And under JM Customized Software, you'll see where it says JM Toolbox. You will also need a program called WinRare, which you can get at download.com. If you have a 32 bit, you choose that one. If you have 64, choose that one. And if you're not sure, get the 32 bit. Okay, and once you just click on Program, you want to click save file and then hit OK. And I'll minimize this out of the way. And I would open and create a new folder on your desktop. copying now and then you can close all this out and you'll see one icon it says toolbox double click on it close that out okay best thing to do is go to clean and depending on the speed of your computer, you can do all these at one time. You click one, click another, click another, and then all open. And of course, it'll show you all your drives here. Use safe mode. Click next. And while that's working, we're going to go to this one. Select all analyze. are all set up as wizards so it's easy to figure out what to do. Uh, on this one once you finish privacy sweep you'll go to junk files clean and after this finishes well we'll just minimize that for now. Now this is an important one. I'm gonna not gonna I'm not gonna do a deep scan. Uh, but you'll want to do a deep scan and then you hit scan and it'll tell you it'll show you all your registry errors which I highly recommend that you use this and we're going to go ahead and stop this close now As you see, there's only a few here, it, and don't be worried if you are in the thousands, because with Windows, you will get a lot of registry errors, and that is normal, especially if you haven't had uh, a tune-up. I recommend you run this program once a week. Uh, of course, it's free. You don't have to pay for it, so you can use it as much as you want. On the registry cleaner, just click that and click start fixing fix now and then it, it'll fix it for you um, and we already showed you the disk cleaner there's a file shredder optimize is an important one now the smart ram unless you have one gigabyte of ram or more i wouldn't use that uh, you can use the internet booster now when you're
you're first launching this, it'll ask you what your internet speed is. Uh, for ours, it's 25 meg. Um, typically, you have between 6 to 8 meg, depending on your internet service provider. And if you need help figuring that out, just um, get in contact with us because we will teach you how to do an internet speed test. Startup manager, that's a good one. Uh, registered registry defrag. I usually do that last. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, because you can't have any other programs running when you run this one, uh, smart defrag. That is another free program that you can get. Uh, you'll click on that and it'll take you to the download page. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced than the Windows defrag. Uh, and for, for more information on defragging your hard drive, um, visit our blog at jnmpcexpert.com backslash blog. And you can go to repair. Um, the only thing I really use here, you can use the shortcut fixer. Um, Disk Doctor tells you a little bit more about your hard your hard drive. Now I do use this Windows Fix a lot because it'll scan for any Windows problems. It scan. I know it's going to tell me I don't have Internet Explorer on the desktop or the recycling bin. Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. And I mean this is, as you can see, this is simple to use. Uh, and actually, we'll be creating a more advanced video to show you how to customize your Windows computer even more. Um, definitely run the security hole scanner. That is that is very important. This is something that people don't realize or even think about, but Windows straight out of the box does have security holes and you want them fixed. IOBIT 3 IOBIT Security 360 is no longer available but they have replaced it uh, with a malware program which is just as good. Now if you do want the IOBIT Security 360 uh, contact us because we can uh, we actually sell that for $9.99 but it's no longer available through IOBIT um, and in our advanced video coming soon, we're going to go over this part here, the control, the system control. That's where we're going to change settings on your computer to make it even faster. Um, this is a good thing right here, this system information. Uh, you can click it and it tells you everything about your computer. go back up to the startup manager. This shows you everything that loads up when your computer starts up. And as you can see, I have a lot. Um, like this one here we can turn off. We just click click on that. Um, of course it's running a little bit slow because I'm making this video. Um, but let's delete that. Now this doesn't delete iTunes, it just deletes it from start to starting up. I want to leave speech recognition on because I use that to open programs. Um, that we can turn off. That's This is our help application which is actually pretty neat. We have what's called Ask a Tech um, program. You can go to jnmpcexpert.com backslash ask and you, our technicians will help you with any of your problems or you can click on any of the links that we have on our site. Once you go through all your startup items um, then you can just close this out and we're back to the system information. This tells you your operating system, um, central processor, your username, uh, video adapter. Uh, this is really helpful in case you need to update your drivers and you don't know what your hardware is it tells you 
storage um, shows that I have two gigabytes of memory this is how much is free the hard drive uh, and so forth tells you about the operating system processor and main board and of course your memory and you can use these this information to um, speed up your com computer which we can teach you at a later time uh, the display the network um, as, as you see it shows that I have two connections and then your other devices are listed here too and you can hit export and save that if you want um, there's one other thing that I do want to show you that's very very important under repair I believe it is there should be no, maybe security there it is driver manager this is very very important so we'll save that for last let's go back to the disk cleaner it says junk files found 382 hit next I delete them directly then hit close. Okay, now the driver manager. This is going to check your computer to make sure you don't um, need any updated drivers. We're going to go to drivers update. Uh, this is also another good tool if you're going to change your operating system. You can do a backup and a restore. So we're going to hit next. We're going to search. It's going to find two drivers, I believe. No, I'm, I'm up to date. That's good. If your drivers aren't up to date, that can cause your computer to slow down as well. And um, let me show you. See, from our site, you can click on Live Help right there, and a window will open, allowing you to chat with our technicians. As you see on our computer, it says new chat visitor accept or decline, and of course we would always accept. Um, and we also, um, you can call us right from this, or our live support, which opens that same window. And let me show you another um, feature that we have with our help desk. I'll have to show you that another time, but we can actually initiate right from the website uh, a chat to help. Now if you go to jnmpcexpert.com backslash <coughs> ask from here uh, you can get our news um, Troubleshooter, which we don't have yet, but we will soon. Uh, you can submit a ticket, or you can go to our knowledge base, or you can just type in a question. Uh, we JNM believes in supporting our customers and our visitors, so if there's something we can help you with, um, let us know.